Hi everybody, it's Diane. I am putting cover covers together today. And so I turned on the camera as I just do the pretty decorative touches, the fabrics and the trim. Um, I need to explain my hands though. Layla was off school today. She's still off for Christmas vacation. And so we were up here, she's working in her smash book or her junk journal and I didn't, I had to go down and fold laundry. I didn't realize that she was using my stamps. Now these kind of stamps, these are stamping up and they're a little tricky to operate. So she ended up, the lid came off and so she was trying to put it back on. Look at all the ink here. It was everywhere and it was all over her hands. And then I had to put it back on. It took me a lot of struggling to get it back on, but I got it. And then of course I was covered in ink and it doesn't just wash off. It will fade off by tomorrow morning. It will be a lot better if not completely gone. And it'll probably be better after I wash dishes this evening. But looking for my wet wipes. Um, so it looks like I'm going to get ink all over everything. <laughs> this was Layla. But I have washed my hands with soap and water several times, and so whatever is left on my hands isn't going to come off on these um, things that I'm going to be touching. So I just wanted to explain that before I do this video. So look what I've found in my stash. I have this um, yellow checked curtain that I got from a flea market. How perfect is that? Now I might be able to put some of this in the journal as a little pocket. I have to see if there's a space for me to do that. But while Layla was working up here in her journal, I was using my seam ripper and taking apart the casing for the curtain rod. So I had to take out the hem and then the little um, rod pocket. And I have my strip cut and ready to go on the spine. Now, this is folded over so I'm going to leave it that way so I have a nice clean edge. But I'll still probably put a decorative trim on the outside, but probably not the inside. So normally what I do is I usually have a raw edge and I will, this is, I don't think this is the right piece. I think this is the right piece. Um, I usually have a raw edge and I will finish it with a trim on both the outside and the inside and so I put this down first and then I <coughs> put a piece of paper over it if I'm going to cover the end papers which I am in this book but because it's folded over folded under it's a little bulkier than normal it's not bulky but it's got you know the extra fabric there so I don't want to put paper on top of that so I'm going to put the paper down first now I want to show you the paper pad that I used in these journals. It's one I just picked up at Hobby Lobby at 50% off, so I paid $10 for this. And there are 180 sheets, and I love every single paper. Some paper pads, there's some you like and some you don't like. I like them all. It, it has like, uh, one, two, three, four, I don't know how many patterns but it repeats the same patterns in all the different colors that it has. And it couldn't have been better for this for these journals. I took out, um, could have used those, but I didn't. I used a different shade of red, but I took out the ones with the tan background, like these. So I used some of those and Must be these. No, yeah. I guess it was those. Anyway, I love these. So I chose two of the the 
this color background. Uh, I'm going to put this one on one of them and then use the other one in the other book. <clears throat> so I need it to be, let's say, five, four and three quarters by eight and a quarter. cut it just a smidge bigger than eight and a quarter just because sometimes I measure and it, and I think I have it right and then it's just a smidge short but this time I think it was right and then I'll just fold it in half and cut it at four and three quarters to get my two end papers That was dumb. I wanted to cut the fold off. There. That edge is rough. Must be I need to change my blade. That shows some of the book spine. Must be the Tyvek. There was more Tyvek on this side than this side, but I'm thinking that the fabric will cover it. So I'm going to put this down. my tree down today. Layla helped me take the ornaments off and put them away. And then I wrapped up my other decorations. I got rid of a lot of decorations this year. But my mother, as I've said before, paints figurines and things, or she used to. She gave us quite a few over the years and then when, when they moved, she still had boxes of things that she hadn't sold. She wasn't doing shows anymore. So we all got to claim some more of them. So I have quite a few snowman and angel figurines from her. So I'm keeping those. But I got rid of a lot of other things. And let me see if that covers everything. Oh yes, that's good. Um, so, while I was taking down decorations, I did some packing. The tree was in the foyer, so I got that down, and I, I got my decorations down to my tree. It's just a small, not, not a very big tree, but I'm going to have to get a tote to pack it in because um, it's just in a cardboard box and it doesn't fit completely in the box, you know, can't close the box Once you take it out, you just can't put it back in So I want to get a plastic tote because that's going to be stored in a shed when I move And another good sized plastic tote full of my figurines and some of the ornaments and then another it's a stackable set of like trays that snap together that have all the breakable ornaments, the glass balls and things. And a lot of those are ones that my mother painted. And I think that's it. The tree, the one tote, and the ornaments. Yeah. And then I was so proud of myself I had it down just to that because I'm going to have an 8x8 shed to use for storage and it's got to hold, you know, lawnmower and shovel and all that stuff too. I won't have a basement and an attic like I do now. 
And then I realized that I still had some decorations in the living room that I have to pack, so I'll have to get something little for them. But anyway, so while I was at it, I'm getting the foyer all cleaned up and the tinsel and stuff swept and stuff. I just packed, went ahead and packed more stuff from the foyer. I have my piano in the foyer, so I have a storage, like shallow drawers of um, piano music. So I packed some of that. Left out the, left out the books that I might use in the next couple of months. And I had a small bookshelf in there that had a collection of. The Peanuts cartoons, the entire, I still, I put on the, this is the one I wanted to use. That's okay. I'll use that one on the other book. I already had that one cut to the right length. So I packed up my Peanuts books, and then when my son came to get Layla, I gave him that, the short bookshelf that those Peanuts books were on, which is kind of a shame because that was the perfect size for those books, but... I won't have room for it. I'll have to, I'm going to keep at least one bookshelf. Hopefully I'll have room for it in the living room. So I don't know. I've already packed up a lot of books. So I might have to store books under my bed. So anyway, I packed up some music. I packed up those books and my son took the bookshelf. So that's gone. So, I'm already starting. After the first of the year, I'm going to call the realtor. Oh, did I? Yeah. I thought I didn't glue this part. I just didn't glue that edge. Didn't get the glue close enough to the edge, I guess. I will be so happy to have the move over and all settled, especially getting my craft room set up and ready to use. That's, that really makes me nervous. How long am I going to be out of commission as far as crafting goes? Not just because I love to craft every day, but also because it's, you know, my business. All right, so I have the fabric on and, I, and the paper. And I brought over some laces and rickracks to figure out what I want to use to further embellish the cover. So I have a brown rickrack. I have this golden yellow. It's called cream. And this is a perfect color, but I don't think there's enough there. See how perfect that is. And there's just enough. So I think I'm going to use this. But maybe I'll put some lace under it. Yeah, I like that. Let's go with that. I love doing this part of making the journals, putting the covers together, not actually constructing the covers, although I don't hate it, but I like selecting fabrics and trims and things and papers. And seeing it all come together.
kind of like to cover up the blue part of the spine. So this is going to help with that. signatures and then uh, let me just flip through them real quick and see if there's a place I can put that rooster pocket and I'll probably have to use my seam ripper to take it off but let's just see what I have here I don't really want to put it on a plain coffee dyed page because I want to leave you some room for journaling. Oh, it's got glued on there. But you can also put stuff in the pocket that you can journal on. It's a pretty paper. It might accept a rooster. Yeah, I might do that. I just wanted to see if there was a place for it. I'll spend some time this evening ripping that rooster fabric apart. There. I gave it a two and a quarter inch spine. Um, two, two would have been enough, I think, but I gave it just a little bit extra because it is it's got a lot in it, and I wanted you to be able to put more stuff in it, so I think that'll work. So this is leftover. I could use this for the nameplate. This is leftover, but I'll just tuck it into a pocket somewhere. 
I could maybe use this as a back pocket if I glue it to something. How did I have it? I know. Ah, I can't figure it out. I there it goes like that. I think no. There, that's how it went. I wanted to cut this part off because I don't want it to overlap on the fabric. So should I just put it on coffee dyed paper or what? This is just something I cut with my Big Shot. And I only cut one of them, so I'll have to do another one for the second journal. I just was playing around one day with those new dies. And I saw it and I thought that would look nice with this journal because of the color of it. to put in there or ha, just tuck that in there okay so I think the best way to do this is glue stick I'm gonna put some white glue around the edge and then use glue stick on that lacy part Could have put that rooster fabric on the back cover, huh?
So this journal is nearing completion. I still have a lot of work to do on the second one. I have the cover constructed, but no fabric and trim added. And I have a lot of work to do on the pages. But now I know what I'm going to be doing because I've already done it in this journal. Like that. All right, I don't think I have anything else to do on camera. I'll continue working on the other journal after I turn the camera off. And um, before too long, I'll be back showing you the finished products. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.